Hey guys, thanks for joining me tonight. Uh, first off, I wanted to begin this video by saying that I hope you guys are doing well um, and you're, you're taking extra, extra care of yourselves. I know with everything going on right now with the coronavirus pandemic, it's got everybody, you know, running around like crazy and um, we're all cooped up in our homes. Some people are, are working from home and um, it's just, everything that's just going on right now is just crazy. So keep those um, that, you know, those with compromised immune systems and have weak immune systems like the elderly, keep them in your prayers. Those that are defenseless against this terrible, terrible disease. Um, just keep them in your prayers, guys. And just know that I'm praying for you as well. I'm sending you lots of love and energy. Um, and with that being said, um, I wanted to highlight two very important saints for the month of March. And those saints are St. Patrick and St. Gertrude. Now, St. Patrick and St. Gertrude, they both share the same feast day. Um, now, St. Gertrude, I happened upon an article um, one day as I was going through Facebook that um, she was the patron saint of cats and cat lovers. So for any of you cat lovers out there, um, make sure you watch this video because it's very um, informative. I'm going to try to give you as much information as I found today um, on St. Gertrude and hopefully um, you guys can incorporate um, her into your daily rituals if you have pets. Um, so the first one that I'm going to discuss today is St. Patrick. Now, when we think of St. Patrick, I mean, it's tradition every year, you know, we know we associate um, the color green and luck, you know, the whole luck of the Irish um, saying and what have you. Uh, but there's so much more behind it. Uh, now, St. Patrick is the patron saint of Ireland. And um, with him, um, yes, I know the color green is associated with him, but there is so much more to it than just that, just luck. Um, because for him, uh, the shamrock is his symbol. And the shamrock was um, a symbol of the Holy Trinity. It was the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. So he used that um, as his tool to spread his message of, of um, God's word and his holy name and how we should honor and uh, love God and and accept him and and what have you. Um, he is also um, noted to have uh, driven the snakes out of Ireland, so that's why he is um, the patron saint of Ireland because he drove the snakes out of Ireland and his emblem also, uh, along with the shamrock, are the snakes. Um, so people call upon him to uh, bring them luck, prosperity, but also for to heal snake bites. So for those of you that are um, adventurers um, who like to go hiking or are very outdoorsy, uh, if you ever find yourself in a situation, let's hope not, but if um, you ever have an unfortunate situation where you get bitten by a snake, then you know how to properly tend to a snake bite. As you're doing so, um, call upon the power of St. Patrick to help you heal that snake bite so that it heals sooner um, sooner than expected. Um, now, for St. Gertrude, um, it's something different because her um, special or unique power um, has to do with cats. So the reason why she is associated with cats is because during her time, she kept cats in her home to uh, deter mice. And to her, um, the mice were um, symbolic of people that had passed on, so whose souls were trapped um, in purgatory. So 
that's how she saw the mice. She wasn't necessarily afraid of them. It was more so that she felt, she sympathized with them. She empathized with them because they were souls of people trapped in purgatory. So she would pray for them to um, get out of purgatory and to um, go up into, into heaven. So, and in some of her iconography, if you Google um, St. Gertrude, you'll see her holding a cat or a cat sitting right in front of her and she's petting it or she's, um, the cat's just lounging there in front of her and she's petting it. And then in others, you see her um, with cats and then there's like, she's holding a staff and there's mice crawling up the staff. So um, with St. Gertrude, there's a ritual that you can perform um, with, along with your cat, since their cats are um, commonly used in rituals, um, some more than others. But um, that specific ritual is, um, it, you know, if you have your cat or a picture of, of your cat, because I know some cats are very temperamental, so there's only so much that they can be held for so long. Um, I know that mine's the same way. I have one that um, I can only hold him for so long before he gets, um, he starts getting fidgety and he wants to jump out of my arms. So um, I just hold him for a little bit and then um, I let him go and do his thing. But um, if you have a cat that's calm and, and likes, you know, all that love and attention, get him or her. Hold, hold them in your arms and um, pray to St. Gertrude. So you can come up with your own specific prayer. I haven't found one, uh, a specific one tied to St. Gertrude. Um, if you find one on Google, that's awesome, wonderful. You know, you can use that um, in your ritual. Um, but as I said, you know, just... Um, Get your cat, hold them with you, and just imagine um, golden light surrounding them. Kind of close your eyes, let your mind wander, meditate, and then envision a golden light being surrounded around your cat. That is St. Gertrude's um, shield for them. Uh, she's protecting them for you. And um, also... That's her way of saying, like, this is my um, my message for you. I'm prote I'm offering protection for your cat, but I'm also protecting or sending them to protect you. Um, so you can include in your prayer, you know, protect me from harm, protect my pet from harm. Um, if they go out in the middle of the night, you know, to go hunt for food or whatever the case may be. Make sure that, they, uh, that they're that they safe. Always watch over them. Whatever you want to incorporate is fine. Um, there's no specific candle um, that you can light for St. Gertrude. Um, I, I would suggest a white candle be, only because it's universal. Um, if you can find a picture of St. Gertrude, which I'm sure you can on Google or any prayer card, um, Put that with the candle, but you can also put a picture of your cat along uh, with it to, um, in order to enhance that protection. Uh, the same thing with St. Patrick. Um, if you don't find a candle that has his picture on it, no need to worry. Just get a prayer card with his picture on it. Get a plain glass green candle. Put the... Um, Put the card in front of the candle, and if you want um, for prosperity, um, you can also incorporate uh, money. So you can put uh, clip some dollar bills along with the card, or you can put coins around the candle as well, and just ask uh, St. Patrick for prosperity, for luck, um, you know, to keep the money flow coming in. So, um, and those are two saints. Um, that I've highlighted for you today, um, St. Patrick for luck and prosperity. Um, and I also gave you, a, you know, a little ritual that you can do with him. 
um, and also St. Gertrude, the patroness of cats and cat lovers. And I've also provided you with information on a ritual that you can do with um, her image and, and cats as well. So um, as always, I want to thank you all for um, subscribing to my videos. I really enjoy making these for you. Um, I have really enjoyed reading your your feedback and just hearing what um, positive things are happening for you guys, that you are um, incorporating these rituals into your daily life and all the awesome things that have happened. I'm so glad, you guys. You have no idea how happy that makes me. Um, but as always, you know, I love you. Um, be safe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.